Okay guys, I got a nice treat for you tonight. I have previously demoed this on my channel and I will be doing it again for you. This here is the Bomb Diggy I Love You Honey Bunny Bath Bomb. Here's all your ingredients, everything that's in it. Pause if you want to read it. Moving along. Look how beautiful this is. Two shades of green, the red sparkle on the top, and also there is something inside. Now, Jamie, the owner of Bomb Diggy, is a massive Quentin Tarantino fan. So this bath bomb is a kind of take on a statement from Pulp Fiction. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in and watch it go. Now, uh, Bomb Diggy, the owner, Jamie, she mixes her own scents. So everything that you get from Bomb Diggy will have a scent that you cannot duplicate somewhere else. They're all hand-mixed by her. It is not just, say, rose. Or it's not just, say, lemon. It's all different things put together to create a certain scent. Wow, that's really beautiful. Uh, her bombs are definitely known for these elaborate shows. They foam up. They're beautiful. This one has, um, you can smell the pear in it. Uh, you, it just is a nice, sweet, fragrant smell. I really, really, really love this scent. It's absolutely perfect. Wow, this show is so beautiful. Look at it. Now, of course, I am sitting in the tub with this one. Because <laughs> this is the bomb that I'm ending out my night with. So I can smell like it all night. Plus, Jamie was kind enough to also send me the brand new perfume of the scent that she's now put out and you can purchase on her website. If you want to go check out the Bomb Diggy website, just hit the drop box and push the button, because she's linked. She is linked in every single video. I have fallen in love with the Bomb Diggy company, and I love the owner. She's awesome. She is a sweet, kind person who really cares about her customers. And no matter what happens, she aims to please. I mean, you know, just amazing, really amazing. The very first order that I made with her, it wound the box wound up being left on the porch during a bad rainstorm. And the only bomb that was affected was the bomb that the corner of the box had gotten saturated with water. And it was the, this, this particular bomb. Not this one, but this type of bomb. The same bomb. Uh, this, this bomb was affected. It wound up getting soft, so I did it that night. And unfortunately, it had already split. And I didn't get, get a chance to see what it looked like after it split. So when she saw the video, the first thing she said to me was, I'm sending you a new one. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, it wasn't your fault that, that this had happened. It would, you know, my mailman left it out in the rain in a puddle. Right off rip. I'm sending you another one. I'm sending you another one. I'm sending you another one. Now she did send me another one and uh, <laughs> I packed it somewhere and I couldn't find it. So I was so upset that I couldn't find it. And I kept apologizing to her saying I wanted to demo it in its full, but unfortunately I can't find it. You know, just hang in there and I will find it again. I packed it in a box because I'm getting ready to move. So what happens when she sends me some Halloween bombs to demo for her? She sent me the I Love You Honey Bunny bath bomb that I was so stressed that I couldn't find. And she also sent me the roll-on perfume of the same scent. She is such a sweetheart. Whoa, look at him. Look, 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 look at all the stuff coming out of him. All his sprinkles. There's hearts everywhere. Can you see the hearts? Wow, she told me she did change it a little bit. I didn't know she put the heart sprinkles in. That is so cool. Oh my god, I love it more and more. That is beautiful. We can start to see the things coming out. See it? See it? See it? See, it? see the black thing? Look, let me grab it. Oh, I dropped them. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Where'd you go? Damn, he hasn't floated up yet. I dropped them in the water. I'll get them as soon as we're done. Pink. See, here's the other one, okay. It's a pow gun. Pow, 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 pow. So that's one of the cool little embeds that are in there. All the sprinkles. And then you have, bang. That is so cool. There's two guns and a bang and a bunch of heart sprinkles for I love you, honey bunny. There's so much foam that I can't find the other gun right now. <laughs> I am a huge stickler for a foamy bomb. I love a foamy bomb. I love to be able to like paint in it because if you run your finger across, you can like see, see how you kind of make those lines and stuff. I'm such a stickler for doing that. I love that. 
and I have never had a stain issue with anything from Bomb Diggy. I always get an amazing product. Um, yes, yeah, some of them are darkly colored. Some of them are a bright, bright, bright pink. One of my favorite scents is the um, Girls Just Want to Have Fun Bath Bomb, and it's hot pink. It's like vanilla and a few other things in it, but it just smells so good. It's the brightest pink I have ever seen and puts on like a gorgeous show. It's got a lot of foam in it. It's real, real beautiful. I love it. Also, I have another favorite. It's uh, Slow Jams. Slow Jams, oh, I got the body butter in that one and I got the body butter as well in the Girls Just Want to Have Fun. My God, man, her body butters are kick ass. I still swear by them. I still love them. They are so good. This guy's still going. But Slow Jams 2 is a very dark purple bomb with a lot of embeds in it. She always puts a lot of cool shit in her bombs. And uh, I've never got any kind of stains or anything like that from those. I mean, they're absolutely perfect. They're a great formula. They are extremely moisturizing. I've been demoing these products now for months, and I can tell you right off rip, each and every one of these bombs leaves you nice and moisturized. Your skin feels alive and good, and you just, you know, there's no kind of itchiness, no nothing like that. And uh, from certain companies, I do get itchies, you know, like my skin does get dry from them. Unfortunately, Moon's Harvest, I do get a little bit of dryness, even though they have a lot of, like, shit in them to make it moisturizing. I do get dry when I get out. I get itchy. I get, you know, it just, it just bothers the hell out of me. So I have to use, like, butter bombs when I use Moon's Harvest. Don't get me wrong, I still love their products, and I really want the hammy bubble bar. It's like Christmas ham bubble bar that they have, because it's a piggy. Oh, man, it's so cute. I really want that. And, I mean, I love Moon's Harvest, but some of the stuff I have to add a little bit of a butter bomb or a little extra moisture, you know, thing. Uh, one other thing that you guys might be interested to do is uh, if I buy, say, from... What is the place called? Witch Baby. If I buy a thick whipped butter from Witch Baby, it's, uh, her stuff is highly moistured. It's, it's the thick, especially the thick one, it's really... You'll never get through that. I don't care who you are, you are never going to get through that in a year. <laughs> but if I buy the big one from there, I will literally take a teaspoon, and if I use a Moon's Harvest product, I'll take a teaspoon of the, the butter, the body butter, and I'll put it in the hot water in my bath, and it actually leaves it really moisturizing. It doesn't so much alter the scent that much, because you still get your scent from your from your balm, but it just leaves it like extra moisture, moisturizing. You can also do that with the massage bars from Lush. You can cut them... And take a little piece and add it to your bath as like a bath melt. But I like to do it with the Witch Baby uh, body butters. I won't do it with the Bomb Diggy ones because I'm obsessed with greasing me and greasing my son up with them after we're done with our baths. But look, see this is what I was telling you about the Gorgeous Show. Isn't that beautiful? Now not only do we have the Gorgeous Show and everything, but you can play in it. Look at that. I can make like the coolest photos right now because I can play in my phone. Isn't that so pretty? I get a kick out of that. I really do. I really love it. I'm going to throw these photos up on Instagram. Okay, let's go ahead and let's check out what we have. She always has this beautiful like diamond dust luster in them. Like all the bombs have this gorgeous luster. And you can see them. Oh, there's my sprinkles. <laughs> I'm trying to find the other gun in here. I just, just saw it. There he goes. There he is. <laughs> That's so cool. I love those end beds. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? Let me get a photo. Okay, I'm done. But let's get down. Let me show you the glitters. Look at that. There's my heart sprinkles. Do you see all that beautiful glitter? It's everywhere. And sometimes I get it to like stick to my skin with like a light sheen of it. But normally I can just rinse it off. No problem. But sometimes I will try and get it to stick to my skin. So that way I can have that nice little pretty light sheen of that like little like luster glitters, but look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna get him flick the water on and see if we can get some bubbles. And I gotta take one more photo, sorry guys. 
I love taking the photos of the foam of paintings. Because that's what it looks like. It looks like like oil painting. Or like water painting. I think it's oil painting. <laughs> but see it on the see it on the edge here? Watch. See you go. No stains. No problems. Nothing. No problems whatsoever. I love this Trix Bombs. Bomb Diggy is definitely one of my faves. And I haven't done a Bomb Diggy bath bomb that I did not enjoy the scent of or the feel or anything about it. There's not been one that I was like, ew, you know? I kind of really have like been drawn to the scents because she is a mixer. And she mixes her own scents and you're not going to get those type of scents anywhere. Look, my little swirly over there. He's so pretty. Okay, I'm done with the photos. <laughs> Let me flick on my water and let's make some bubble, little bubble foam coming up. See if we get our foam, our foam sheen on the top. All I'm doing is just holding my finger at the nozzle right here. Alright, so we're just getting a light creaminess of bubbly foam here, which I am really enjoying. I love when there's that creamy foamy layer, and then you can also see all of my glitters. I love that as well, but I'm going to jack my water up here and build myself some more foam. little foamy layer. Real nice, actually. There you have it, guys. That was the Bomb Diggy I Love You Honey Bunny gorgeous bath bomb with the cool embeds and the really cool sprinkles. And Wow, I couldn't get over the heart sprinkles. I love that. Let me see if I can get you guys. See, there goes a heart sprinkle. It just passed me. <laughs> see if I can get you guys to see the glitters. Look. Oh, it's so pretty. Well, the foam didn't get in the way. There we go. The whole bath has them. It is so beautiful. Now that's what you call luxury, man. She does do two restocks a month. So you can definitely get them. No problem at all as long as you're there for the restock. She sells out instantaneously. I mean, she's got a few things still for sale on the site now, but she does sell out mighty, mighty fast. I'm talking like really fast, she goes. So if you want to go ahead and check out the website, you can hit the link down below. You can also go on Instagram and follow her on the Bomb Diggy. The Bomb Diggy, uh, I forget what it is, but uh, I follow her. So if you want to go ahead and you can check my follow, like who I'm following, if you want to click on mine. Check who I'm following and you'll see Bomb Diggy come up. Or you can just search Bomb Diggy and you will see that amazing logo. And you'll know it's her. And she does announce her restocks there. So you'll be able to find out just in case I am not as quick on the up drawer as I've been in the past. Because I have got a lot of things on my mind and a lot of things to get done. And sometimes I forget to tell you guys when the, uh, when the restocks are coming. Cause, and there's a lot of companies I deal with. So if I can remember everybody's restock, oh man, I'd be like Einstein, but I just can't remember everybody's. <laughs> so that's a way for you guys to find out the restock dates. Um, I have asked her and sometimes she does uh, remember to, to let me know. And sometimes she's so busy too that we, you know, we kind of just miss. But she does do them on her Instagram so you can very well go right on there and learn when her restock will be available. But as for right now, this is what I'm leaving you guys with. The amazing I Love You Honey Bunny Bath Balm. And it's gorgeous pear type scent. It is a nice sweet smell. Moisture on this guy is about a good eight to nine. The scent of course is lingering on my hand. I just used my little towel that's always on my shoulder to dry it up and I can smell it on my skin still. So yes, 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 100% do I definitely recommend buying from this company. I definitely recommend buying the Splash Bubble Bar too. <gasps> Whoa, I love Splash. And Goodnight Moon. Goodnight Moon is like Boogie's TKO. As <laughs> soon as I do a Goodnight Moon bubble bath, he's out like a light. Gone. 
But how bubble bars are mammoth. So, I mean, if you're not, you know, if you're not demoing it for a company or something like that, and you're, say you're not me, uh, you can cut them into a million pieces. Like, you can... Good Night Moon is so big that you can chop it up into six pieces and get six really nice bats out of it. Or you can do what I do and use it in its entirety. She has a bubble bar called Fizzy Lifter. Fizzy Lifter is fucking humongous. And I made the mistake of doing that entire bubble bar just for demo purposes, and I shouldn't have because every time I moved, I created more bubbles and they never died. About an hour after sitting and soaking and everything and attempting not to move to let these bubbles die down so I can get out and not have bubbles everywhere. Yeah, it didn't work out, so... <laughs> I had to actually stand up, grab Fred, rinse all the bubbles off and step out and still had bubbles overnight. They just didn't die, they just stayed in the bottom of the tub. And so it was all drained out. It, it stayed forever. <laughs> But I loved it. I loved that those bubbles lasted so long. And every single time I moved, that fizzy lifter bubble bar created a big old mound more of bubbles. It overflowed everywhere. Richie was pissed, but I had a great time. I was like a kid again, so I really had a good time. But I'm telling you, that bubble bar in itself, you could chop that into six pieces, no problem. You can chop, chop that into slices and have amazing bits with that one. She's got huge bubble bars. So that's why I'm saying for the amount of money that you spend on the bubble bars, you are definitely getting a whole hell of a lot for your money. Fizzy Lifter is humongous. Um, the, what was the other one? There's a, they, oh, they're all big, but some are much more bigger than others. And like Fizzy Lifter is huge. Uh, Good Night Moon is huge. Splash is really nice and big. Um, Splash, you can get four amazing baths out of it, no problem. Or one really, really bubbly, amazing bath. But Splash is covered with green, green glitters that I am in love with. I love my glitter. Everybody knows I love my glitter. I love my luster dust. I love my diamond dust. I freak out for it. And it's covered in green glitter. And it's a real deep green bath. So you really do feel like you're getting the mermaid water and the whole like mermaid like feel when you use Splash. Which is a rendition back to the movie Splash with Daryl Hannah and Tom Hanks. So I love that her, all the things gear back to movies. I really do love that. Uh... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here for a minute. Wow, that hurts. Oh, don't tell me I'm getting sick again. If I get sick again, man, oh, I'm just going to lock myself in a bubble. <laughs> but okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration of the I Love You Honey Bunny Bath Bomb from Bomb Diggy. I hope you enjoyed the cool embeds, the guns and the bang word and everything. Like, that's really, I like that. Because what I do with them after I set them off is I put them in my little scrapbook. And I have my first ones in the scrapbook, and I'm going to put these next to them. So that way they're all in my YouTube Bath Bomb Demonstration scrapbook. So that way when Bug gets older or, you know, when my daughter wants to look at it, I can show them my amazing YouTube family and the coolest bombs and shit that I set off and all kinds of stuff. And I have this big old, like, I don't say I do scrapbooking, but it is kind of like a scrapbook. It's just a book that I stick everything in. <laughs> but, uh, yep, there you have it. That was an awesome bath bomb from Bomb Diggy, and uh, I shall talk to you guys later. If you've made it thus far and listened to me jabber all this whole time and, you know, enjoyed the tub talk, uh, hit that subscription button over there and subscribe to this channel. So that way you can enter the giveaways, uh, you can know the next time I put on another demonstration for you, and you can get to learn about all these cool companies. And also, uh, I do a lot of Lush, too. I try and teach everybody whatever I learn about Lush. I try and introduce you guys to whatever I have learned so that way you can shop accordingly. <laughs> I like Lush. <laughs> but uh, if I had to choose Indie or Lush, I think I'd choose Indie companies. I, I'm a huge promoter of the small business owner. Very much so. Alright guys, love yous. And I shall talk to you later. And if you enjoyed the Beth Bomb from Bomb Diggy, why don't you go ahead and flick that thumbs up and let her know that this is uh, definitely a plus. And let me know that I'm doing a good, good job in demonstrating these for you. Uh, I love reading the comments down below. Sometimes I don't always answer them, but I do try and let you know that I read them by clicking that little heart button there. So if you see that, that little heart lit up there next to your comment, know that I did read it. I just haven't had a chance to answer you back yet. Uh, right now I have like hundreds of comments because I just launched a rant video. Uh, a series of them. I launched four of them. <laughs> but... Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to answer everybody back on everything, and uh, I'm answering back a lot of trolls and a lot of hate comments and things like that, But which I shouldn't even pay no mind to, so I'm going to ignore those little fucks and keep on moving and have a good time demoing my amazing companies here that I love. And I will talk to you guys later. Good night, guys. Here, one more shot of my glitter. Ooh.
Love my glitter. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hi, guys.